I want to make a video because YouTube has been massively uninspiring as of late, but I have been working on a lot of different personal projects, writing, music, so first thing I want to say is that I've released a collection of music that is all Creative Commons, so you can use it for videos, video games, whatever project that you're working on. I don't claim that this is the best music ever, I don't claim that it would even fit your project, um, but it might for some people, uh, depending on what you're working on. Also, if you like ambient music or electronic, you can, or experimental post-rock, well, kind of post-rock, if you're into that sort of thing and uh, you want to hear my crude attempts and music, uh, the, the link is in the description of the Bandcamp now. With Bandcamp, it's pay what you want. If you enter zero, it's free. Um, but they limit you to 200 downloads, so if you if you want it and you're watching this video and, and the downloads are exceeded, then send me a message if you still want it for free and I can make that happen. And like I said, it's all Creative Commons. Like, this, this isn't some attempt to uh, launch myself as a rock star or anything like that. This is actually my attempt to sort of uh, break into... To, participating in media in a wider way, in a more constructive, um, not democratic, but uh, sort of goes back to what I talked about a while ago in my donate skill video of, of, of mass collaboration through the internet and whatnot. Um, the other thing I want to say is that, you know, I, again, I just haven't really seen much on YouTube that's worth, um, merits any sort of effort into responding to other than perhaps feminist frequencies that I've been I've been working on and off in on responses of that not because of feminism um the whole feminist thing it's it, to me it's like one of those uh words that people need to argue over and you seem to have people who want to argue over either the one true feminism uh, people label themselves feminists and then they argue over what is the one true feminism or then there's the people who, who question the validity of feminism, the a-feminists and then they argue over whether or not uh, anyone should believe in feminism at all and I'm not really interested in that argument for a lot of different reasons but feminist frequencies, uh, because she talks about television and I'm interested in, in writing and storytelling and that sort of thing um, her videos are filled with logical fallacies and some rather terrible reasoning and honestly a lot of misrepresentation of stories and in the process it may deal with feminist theory I, I guess but it's it's mostly just how uh, <laughs> in attempts to sort of overthink some of these things it's it's amazing how, how quickly you can miss the obvious, and it's amazing how people, even with uh, master's degrees, apparently, can make um, some pretty sweeping logical fallacies, have really poor research. Uh, pretty much every video I watched of hers, and I, wa I watched every video she uploaded, and just every single one that was... Not, I don't want to say the whole, every part of the video bothered me, but there was something in every single video that was like, what? what the hell are you thinking <laughs> sort of thing so I've been working on a, a, a series of responses uh, scripting that I don't know how much of it will be in video form but uh, just really I've been focusing on creative projects and, and other things and uh, it's been six years uh, at the beginning of the month February 5th near the beginning of the month since I opened my channel and started posting videos five and a half years since I've made video blogs and uh, r the other thing that I'm writing about is that the 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 way that I see um, the current landscape of the internet and YouTube because it's it's a frustrating place right now it's very frustrating when the only way that I can seem to get views is just to do the same old shit but to be as I just said like three times already in this video there's nothing fucking worth it at this point. It's just that simple. Um, it's all been done. It's None of it's particularly relevant. And um, a lot of better information is out there for half the stuff I could say. So um, if you follow me on, on Twitter or Tumblr or on Facebook, I'm trying to be active in updating those sites every day pretty much. Uh, letting people know the different sorts of things that I'm doing, but if you're watching, wondering, where are my videos, you know, somebody somebody left me a comment to say on a new video 
saying like, you know, don't just leave your channel idle. And, and, and a lot of people are, are, are frustrated with my latest content. Again, what the fuck do you expect me to do? There's just nothing worth it right now. There's nothing inspiring. Um, talking about politics, I think it's all a game. I've been I've been watching politics since I was a child, um, and the national news. And I'm I'm intelligent enough and educated enough at this point to realize, like, you know, for all the stuff I could say a bit about Mitt Romney or whoever, it's all a game. Politics in the U.S. It's all a game. Now I could I could explain and talk about how it's all a game, but even that, I, I would be better off um, recommending books and letting people think for themselves and read for themselves and trying to be some sort of a demagogue, which is exactly uh, what I hate. Um, that's it for now.